Hello and welcome to the Beginner's Guide here on Cobalt Plays. Beginner's Guide is a game I don't know much really about except it became very highly recommended. Um, and it is short. We're going to be playing through the whole game today. It's made by the creator of Stanley Parable. And beside that, I, I went in as blind as possible because I, I don't want to ruin it. Obviously, we will spoil the whole game in this video, so there will be a link Good. Thank you very much for playing the beginner's guide. My name is Davy Reedon. I wrote the Stanley Parable. There we go. And while that game tells He's explaining it better than I am. Today, I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Okay. These games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff. And his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. It's a level for... Homie, oh, it's... You can walk around here. I was about to say, it looks like... And, uh, it's not uh, Dust 2. Uh, is it Market? Of ...building a 3D environment. But what I like is that even though he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town... He then scatters these colorful hey, blobs and if, if you've played Counter Strike, you know this door. And of course, it destroys the illusion that this actually is a desert town, and instead this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. Hmm. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed. Forgot a texture there, it looks like. And it kind of makes you wonder what was going through his head as he was building this. This is what I like about all of Coda's games. Or maybe a couple. Not that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know who this human being really is. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. Interesting. So, it's 2008. Coda starts making these games. And Damn. never releases any of them. He doesn't put them onto the internet. He just makes them and then immediately abandons them. And they sit on his computer forever. And I think he really understood <laughs> this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point, he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. So, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made. Until suddenly one day, he just stopped. In hmm. 2011, that was it. He made his last game, and then he hasn't made another one since. And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. Is because I find his games powerful and interesting, and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. Oh. And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. So thanks for joining me on this. If you have a particular interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d a d e y w r e d e n. Oh my gosh! Found a new. Oh no, we did. Okay, that's about okay. it for introduction. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. As each game is loading, I'll show you the date that it was completed. This first one was made in November two thousand eight. This game is called Escape from Whisper, and it's one of the more generic games you'll see from Coda. Okay, we got a we got a gun. Warning: Whisper machine status status. Oh, there is oh there is sound for the gun. A little quiet. Maybe that was more Coda's fault, because the other sounds are plenty loud. This gun doesn't feel particularly. Ah, okay. It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid-development. Oh, For instance, okay. You have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere, but then clearly there are no enemies anywhere. You can't even reload the gun when you run out of bullets. But ultimately, we don't really know. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. And I, I don't think so. Talk about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. Oh. Okay. There was more. I thought that was just gonna end it that room. See the bottom of the universe from this room. <laughs> hey, he can he can figure out how to wrap that skybox. We'll be okay. 
Hey, okay. We're chilling. Still not much, uh... Oh, no. Apparently, the space station has a labyrinth on it. I'm, oh, no. Uh, sure, I don't know. I'm it's already like lost. That I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm Oh, thank goodness. I was lost instantly. I was trying to go back to the beginning. Okay, this is the part that's interesting. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, and then you get to the engine room. Okay, the whisper machine. Hey, you there, in the engine room. You could save us all. That beam is powering a whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If you... Your body could stop the beam. It's so much to ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? Could you give yourself... Also, how did this guy get Coda's games? Slightly confused. Let me pause here for a second. What you just experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this is what happens instead. Oh, okay. Let's pull the little bait and switch. Hey, look at that. There's the maze. The so we had to, it's not even that hard. And this is an important moment for him. Because yes, this is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it. Like how <laughs> small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. Or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place. Juxtaposed the skybox is beautiful. The hysteria that you've just had to traverse. I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking, but what's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. Hmm. November 2008. We are in the back rooms. The past was behind her. Clearly. Yep. In this game, you can only walk. <laughs> Wait, this is fire. You just constantly are like... I don't know. Stuck. But the future could not be seen. Minimalist experiment combining keep changing. It is less advanced than the previous Why does the future actually, keep changing? To be more focused, more complete. Code is trying to give it a unique voice rather than simply basing it on a pre existing When she stops and looks, becomes clear. But her future is always behind her. How will she find the strength to confront it? And our door is gone? It's a short little thought, it says what it wants to say, and then it ends. Didn't need anything more than that. <laughs> Which to me is why it works, because it gets out quick. Okay, next one. Okay, we can move forward. We can move backwards. Right and left still off the table. So we've added one direction. You are now entering. God, this is... I don't know why I love like overdrawn fog in video games. Like PlayStation 1 Batman anyone knows what I'm talking about great game um not great game at all actually terrible but and that's it okay the meaning of this game won't be clear just it's yet. very foggy Please and be beautiful with me for a few more games and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting <laughs> you are now entering is what we were playing also I'm sipping on some tea tonight put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his games oh my god it's beautiful I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like, that was it. It was <laughs> And I don't agree with that at all, but what are you going to do? So these games maybe were all shared with him at some point. Very interesting. Ah. Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why... If Coda's not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? 
No, he's not showing the game settings. I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. There we go. So what's behind the freaking door? Stand on X staring at a bear for three hours, a stranger appears. You must address and rally a group of eager press reporters. You live on a boat taking orders from a captain. A that's warm and nice. And oh, ideas for you are a queen dusting your jewelry while your kingdom is destroyed. Series of lavish manuals come with game giving you the incorrect instructions on how to play. That's kind of, um, he was actually a vibrant and tunic. Passionate person, but that it takes is that not? To see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there. And this? Is it Doki Doki Literature Club that, like, you download a completely separate game on Steam and it, like, helps you do stuff? Did everyone just, I mean, maybe these, I don't know, this game, when did it come out? I mean, after Stanley Parable, obviously. But the, I mean, I bet there's a lot of great like ideas for games in there. I love how it didn't give me long enough to appreciate all of them. It said, try me. Another game I want to play on the channel is Before Your Eyes, which does something similar that every time you blink, you uh, well, transition the scene. It's an actual puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Okay. We have a wooden rod. Let's go. Or not. What about soft locking myself? Yes. Don't forget that solution because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. Easy first T. I mean it was basically the only thing he could have done. So three dots. Remember that folks. Three freaking dots. It's me when I'm playing Madden. I'm at company. That seems to be it, right? You walk down a corridor, ah. you solve a puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. Interesting. Now I'm going to modify the game again so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. Okay. Why? Why? It's just so about that. There was it... more to it than we had any way of knowing. Did he just duplicate the same thing? No. Maybe? In the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Either way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time, you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? Hmm. We're back? What the heck? You are now exiting. Wait, what? Uh -huh. So, this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. Hmm. You are now exiting. The lovely, or the great and lovely descent. Holy moly. Not, not his most fantastical world. Game development for a second. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the game can and cannot do. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Set of tools. To make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine does well. Little parkour action? Holy smokes! 
creative work they're going to end up making. You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear boxy corridors. Dude, it's like the, the CSGO map. You know how I was trying to do parkour on there? Like, you could imagine Coda was also... Like, he's putting these boxes in just the right spot that he can jump on them, or maybe can't jump on them, to make his map somehow more fair, or whatever. Oh, no! And now, we have been given the keys to the kingdom. Of just... Like, you know, it's Source, right? Like, I think any kid who ever made a Source map... I've never made a Source map, but I would imagine you jump around on that bad boy all day. I mean, people jump around on um, the regular, like, CS maps. Nobody's business. What the frick? Like, just a, a random source house. It's, 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 it's Coda coming together with the fantastical inside and outside. There's something Coda doesn't want to show you. I think. Like, like, what? Like, you want to go to the end of the hallway, and it says no. It says no. You want to go to the end of the hallway, and it says no. Instead, you have to go in my little cell. Oh. Coda. This prison, funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. If you don't mind, I think we're going to skip that. Coda. Oh, we're going back down. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable. Whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went- Where do I go? And a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled playable games oh okay full of hundreds of individual games each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else <laughs> i played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere there wasn't <laughs> playable games so coda doesn't want to operate by your rules of, of what a game is I'm willing to allow- this game is like- this is good. I feel... unsafe in some ways in these worlds. These worlds are so harsh. It's like it's just- a puzzle again, with the exact same solution as the last time. Incredible. Oh yeah, click. I was pushing all kinds of buttons. Oh yeah, when you hit it again... I mean, why not reuse it? It's literally just asset flip. This puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. What? Why would you put that puzzle? Like, obsess over. I mean, it was just like his first game, it was his first thing. You there. Here, Coda Did you come from up above? buttons on your keyboard to respond yes there was a world stamped with a whiteness the enormous prison i spent hours in yes so it was beautiful i'm gonna say the world stamped with whiteness the world above you've been there now this is important did you have to get through the puzzle with the two doors and switches yes i did I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yes I did because I I think these men are very proud of their puzzle. I think this is their puzzle again. Perfect. Now tell us how you solved this. Tell us the solution. Tell us how to get to the other side. I don't remember. Oh it. <laughs> um. I don't have the option to tell these men they're stuck. I'm gonna at least. Give them some false hope. There must be an ending. I promise you. There's nothing I want more. I see. Pick a door? No. 
No. Oh. Okay. Ah, more friends. How did you get here? Was there a puzzle you had to pass through? Yes. Do you want to know how to solve it? No, no. We actually find the black space between the colors is far more interesting. Have you seen it? Wait, the, the black space between the doors to be far more interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with them. I wanna know about their passion for the, the blackness. Don't think too hard about it. You'll see it again soon. We will be opening these doors quite a bit. This game's fire. Again. It's like far as a walking simulator went. And so we make one pretty, pretty good. Down to the final floor of the level. Source is so good for this. I guess that's the, that's the thing he said. It's like source. This is source. Give it a skybox. Ah. I get the lamp. It's a lamp post. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamp post. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. Hmm. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point. You know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose. And maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination. Which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. I, mean, I feel like all these doors go to all of his games. A lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. So, the lamppost. I mean, it's clear all these, these worlds exist in the same space. Also, these games are coming out rapid. This game is connected to the internet. As you walk around, you can leave notes. All notes you see are left by other players. Are they? I don't think so. Nice room, not. So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this. How do you beat this game? game? Is not connected to no point to this. All of the notes that you're gonna see <laughs> by Coda. It was well to say, really? Game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento. Whoa, holy. Can you guys hear me? Very level, and it was just so different from anything that Hello. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. This place makes me sad. I was over enthusiastic. How could it? But so beautiful. Very gracious about it and very patient with me. And I cooled off eventually. Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, don't be afraid. Do care. Birth of snow. This person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs <laughs> and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices. I, I can assure you, guaranteed, there's an acorn somewhere in this place. The sailors are looking for it. I mean, you think all that of these are readable? And seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. But ass but play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, <laughs> and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. There's nothing here, go back. Like so much. It's because it felt Free like t shirt that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely, too. Hmm. Wait. Is this where we came from? Yeah, that's where we came from. Oh, they change colors when you've walked through them. It's kind of nice. Someday I'll meet the person who made this. No, you won't, because it's you. 
I help people because of the internal good feeling I get. I love how there's just, like, it promises you there's more, but there is not. But I wonder if, if you know clipped, would you be able to? I also wonder if, like, commands are enabled. I don't know what the, the key is. I think it's... I tried hitting grave, it didn't work, but... Just, this is a beautiful, beautiful game. Feels like playing uh, Dark Souls. Don't listen to the other notes. Okay, I'll only listen to that one. I'm not safe. Piece of art. Day I learned you cannot fall off. No, you cannot. Ethical. It's a small, small painting, very small. Maybe made by Coda, maybe not, who knows. Probably AI generated back in 2009. I mean, there was, like, realistically, you could probably AI generate something like that on some silly website some guy made. There must be a reason for it, though. His terrible secret, he kept it well. I beat the game. More room? At the end of this level, Scared of writing something. I don't want to feel here, judged. I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. I mean, it's the... In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. Hmm. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go. Not completely dark. Here, to step back and connect. What do people see? Together, no solution. There is no second switch. Elusive bigger picture. Head back to start later, guys. Guys, it's so bad in here. So can you go back? No. You're trapped. You're trapped. At the light post. What the... I don't like these... No, I don't like these sounds. Uh, dude, this is making my skin crawl. I don't know why. Are you there? Please say something. It can be anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. I'm having so much difficulty talking. Speak, speak, speak. Mm -mm. Go to this one. I'm, I didn't like as much. The one where you started by the brick house. Porn stars died too. Okay, this one is tough. Okay. It's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. That game freaked me the heck out. I swear, I played a, a TTT map one time with my friend that looked exactly like this. Oh, okay. Oh, so we don't get to go down the well, of course. Koda loves to show you something, and then just not use it. It's kind of like the antithesis of like what Bethesda does, where it's like, oh, if you can see it, you can go there. Koda's like, if you can see it, you're not going to go there. It's, it's been a running theme, right? The, the texts we can... See, like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing <laughs> particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hall. No, it's hilarious. Except for some reason, Cody gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's going to start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version two. And again, we're at the well. Because to me, I was like, I really want to go through the well. What furniture ought to go in the center of the room? Um, three, a giant hole in the ground. That's a table, you goof. Okay, what about along the wall of the room? Ten stoves, a washing machine. I would like a painting of a horse. Huge picture of a horse. Okay, perfect. Nailed it. Uh, light up this room a bit. Uh, skylight, sky. Ooh, but live Tesla coils. I'm gonna go skylight though. I'm a, I'm a natural light guy. Got a lamp. Cool. 
I love the choices I'm having. A table, you need a table. No, I don't, actually. Tables were invented in 1935. That is a fact before that. Um, floors were like the only option. And everyone, oh, oh. Oh, we did get a slight expansion. That's nice. There's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It's, it's kind of just weird for weirdness's sake. So he made these? These these chairs, and or just maybe bought them? So, okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. And what is that? Hello, please walk forward. Don't tell me what to do. This guy will gonna be able to walk through and escape the prison environment. Please follow the instructions carefully. Take care of that you remember each step. First, click on this table. You've got it. Good, go over to the photo frame and turn it slightly. Uh, now turn off the floor lamp, then turn it back on. Okay, easy. This is a game I can interact with. Now go to the left side sofa, move it over a little. The left side sofa? Finally touch the shelves. Okay. That is it. In a real prison, the escape room will be open. Return to the start and you will be taken back to the prison. I feel like I'm going to forget, but let's do it. Return. So. We clicked the table. And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the yes. to escape. Okay. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. Here's a version where the inside of the prison is the outside, and the outside is the inside. <laughs> Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, The door. Are there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop. That particular mechanism of defense against yourself. How did all these games get made so quickly? And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Wait, wait, it's, this does not remind me of the prison game at all. We have some houses. They do have textures, actually. I was about to say they're untextured. Everything's unlit. The end point. We've reached the end. Hello? Who is this? Hey, it's me. I'm you from after you escaped the prison. You're me? So you were trapped in this prison too? Yep. I was in the furniture maze. Conversation. And so this is what yeah, I'll say the furniture maze. To talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, That's where I am right now. Some good from I'm actually so glad I'll get out eventually. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, what is it like to escape? So far, are Coda talking to himself? Um, actually, I'm already forgetting what the prison used to be like. It feels completely still and wildly in motion at the same time. Do you feel any different? Sometimes I'm scared I'll get out, and things will be exactly the same as before. No, it's not the same person I was back then, or it does change. I don't feel like the same person at all. I'm going to reassure my, my past self. Oh no, that's awful. That's the worst thing I can imagine. Well, you will get something else in exchange. Wait, you're me? When did you get your call from another version of you when you were trapped? No, I think I'm the first person to call back. Can you tell me how to get out? Maybe I can come find you. What do I have to do? Dang. 
talk, talk to you to get out just talk with me a little bit I'm ask him how he feels what will that free me how does that work just tell me how you feel okay I feel that nothing will ever change. Go on. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay. Hmm. Wouldn't that be nice? So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? I mean, we have talked to people. We talked to the, the men with the speak heads. They, they, they spoke to us. To puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Some spilt something. Hey, look at that. We have more people to... Exactly. Oh my goodness, I'm glad as heck that you showed up. I thought I might be having to clean this entire house by myself. Right miserable that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make low, lousy homes. Oh. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games. Including this lousy homes make home loners. From this point on. Sure. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish tell of his work. And this particular game took two months to create as a result. Holy smokes. Well, this place isn't going to clean itself. As far as I know, I'll finish up here. In the meantime, could you clear this table? Sure. Okay. Much nicer. It's the table I want to see. Now, could you please run to the bedroom and make the bed? Sure. If I can find it. Yeah, there it is. Clean. Um, well, you were here, straighten out the rug a bit. Oh, yeah. Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? How did you end up doing this job? It's been a long time since I've seen a house this messy. Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? Well, I don't enjoy it as much as I need it. Working, I feel a like calm in the pit of my ribcage. My soul can be soothed in many other ways. Seems, which I guess, is all that matters. Oh, that is a tidy couch. Do you straighten up the pillows on the sofa over there? Oh dear, someone spilled their drink over by the couch. Maybe mop it up while you're over there. I feel compelled to share incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Make it incredibly cheesy. Especially. No. No, stupid. Oh, sorry, never mind. Hey, those dishes walk, need washed. Why don't you do that? I mean, I wish I want them to share with me, but I don't want to make them. This time I checked the tub needed cleaning. How about you scrub that down? Again, go to not giving you everything. Scrub it down the best you can. No need to be perfect. We're all human. Uh, are there books scattered on the floor of the bedroom? Could you put them back up on the shelf? Sure. Perfect. Can I clean up these papers too? Nah. Back. After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. House cleaning is so difficult. How do you do it? Difficult or traumatic experience. Do these chores ever end? And digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Uh, whenever you work you out on it, otherwise it owns you. So why don't you work at the task at hand and leave the future trollers to figure you? Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a hmm. period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Hmm. Earlier, I'd said it was a really cheesy thought. 
I was going to say that it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it, it takes care of you. Don't know why I feel so weird about saying that. There's a bit of truth in that, huh? Absolutely. It's like your space, your world. Also, this person isn't textured. Anyway, so housekeeping. Let's do this. Books. Would you clean up the books? Thanks. Also, this song is a bop? Clean up the books. Pillows. I'm glad he made this. I'm glad he found some peace. Question. Do you enjoy this? It can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Hmm. Huh. There is something about, about like, moving on. The, the door puzzle was there. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. But well, you're wrong. This Items you love at members only picks. Why did you come here today? Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No. You came here to be perfect. The workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends and people in your life to look at you and think, wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now. Who do you think about that way in your own life? Who do you think, or who do you know is so well developed as a person they make you feel disgusted with yourself compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful? I intend to make you that person Perfection is within your grasp. And the question now is not how we do it, but how we do it effortlessly. This is easy. This is so easy. This is so easy. The game, the it's shifts. being perfect is effortless. Oh. That is a key. How do I achieve with no effort? On the way to work, I told an elderly person to start contributing to society. Discover that your Kids should not follow their drinks. And afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. I still love you. It's just that you make me feel cold on the inside. Hey, we have our friend listening, though. You're torturing yourself with trying to find the right solutions in your life. You're not doing it right. Thank goodness for all I perceive as wise and intelligent. Oh, wait. The, like One option is always lit up. Should I be using that one? You're torturing... You're torturing yourself trying to find the right solutions in your life. You're not doing it right. No, why am I trying to find the right right solutions? Seek only one thing. What is the easiest, simplest path forward? I want to just say the dumb options every time. Now I want to do the... There's some... It's about being the perfect person. There is no truth. There is no path. And you want to do some ecstasy after this? That is the only correct answer. I'm sorry. Um, do it as easy as do it as simple as feel what is true. What is this? Nothing, no one. I'm coming for you. It's going to destroy you. Everybody run, run. Nothing, no one. Do it as easy as do it simple as feel what is true. Felt pretty hard for this one. Perfection. It's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human <laughs> i think about this game a lot these days you can always say the right thing you don't have to this one took a lot longer than all the others for coda to make it was four months between this and the last one that's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex, so I remember I found that a little strange at the time. I think sometimes people in my life think of me as a somewhat put together person, and I just, I'm not. I always feel bad for them that they might have that, 
that view of me. I think all our lives are chaos. All right, performance of beginning places, please. In this scene, you'll be playing as me. We are gathering of professionals. First, I will start out leaning against the wall. Okay. Good. Stay right there. Woman across the room. Chair. Professional photographer of animals. Your dream is to photograph animals properly. Chance to learn something from her. Gain something to succeed. Go on, say something to her. Hello. Hello, that's it? That's not a conversation. You need to actually converse with her. Be a human being. Do it again. Here are all of my hopes and dreams. No, 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 that's not what I said to say to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. It, I was reserved, I knew what I wanted, but I was confident. But for some reason, it was in that moment, but I was confident. Maybe you need to feel the setting. There were a lot of people around us. I'll give you some props to work with. The cones are that are bouncy if you touch them will represent people nearby. Now talk to her again. Okay. You must work really hard to get here. Bet you have had to lean into the pain. Or some sacrifices you've had to make. I bet you have to work really hard to get here. No, you're messing it up all again. You'll figure out the conversation gets personal that quickly. Do you not realize how important this was for me? I'll never get another opportunity like this. Everything was riding on this. Hmm. I want to say something. Try stepping back from the stage. Oh, uh, we move backstage. Let me tell you, if you've ever been in a theater, you know the backstage is never this deep. It is as wide as one person. Okay, yes, now this is working. This the game ends with this <laughs> premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his game. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect hmm. with his person. To bring him closer. Connect with Coda? But what can you do? After this, Coda went Another five, five months. Five months to make a new game. I think we're in 2010 now? Yeah, we're in... We're, holy smokes, June. Mobius trip. To play this game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Click to begin the game. I am not going to be keeping my eyes closed. Though I think these games are starting to make me a little dizzy. I don't know why, but I think I am. All right, Captain, what do we do? Can't die like this. Can't die like this. Help, I'm blind. I can't see anything. What's going on? Oh, my God. Then my vision suddenly went blind. So everyone is blind. So to properly play the game, I would have to, you know, close my eyes. But help, I'm blind. So interesting. The door. Ten, oh my god. What's going on? Help, I'm blind. You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. <laughs> it's impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by the way. Uh, please tell me how to solve this. Go in here. Go in here. Truth. Uh, the only way to stop it is speak something that is honest. I'm bursting with creative energy. I can't keep making these. My work is always fun. I'm bursting with creative energy. No, no, that isn't true. No. There's a solution. Okay. The purple door drops. Help, I'm blind. The sh movement. Go to the truth. Oh, the light post, of course. Um, I can't keep making these. Yes, that is it. Tell the truth. The door puzzle. I don't feel it anymore. I'm out of ideas. It's straining me. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? 
I don't feel it anymore. Keep going, keep talking. Has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally I thought this was going to be easy. No ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant. You're doing it. It's working. You know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time. It was that kind of thing. I'm alone. It was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. December 2010. What is this? It's beautiful. Where does Island come from? How do I get out of here? Asking direct questions never help me in Coda's games, it seems like. It's not a person. I love you. It's the truth. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. What's wrong? You look lost. Completely out of ideas. When I try to create, I feel empty. There's nothing left to give from my work. As someone who does create things, it's hitting, hitting, hitting a uh, nerve. There's a machine that kept going. It stopped. I'm trying to protect this engine that used to protect me. It started again. I mean, there's something very human about this moment. Wait, you're looking for a machine? I don't know where it is. It isn't fair. What? You have to take me to it. I need to see it. I know why it stopped. You can't do that. The That's the problem. It's guarded by a difficult puzzle. About his Let me solve that puzzle and this find the machine. Deal. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? Because from my perspective, there's a puzzle. What do you think? And just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. How oh, wonderful! Was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games. First, you have to close the door. Uh, First, you have to open the door. The internet, and so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. Now you have to close the first door, right? Okay. All right, what's next? Now press the switch here. I think that's that's what I want. Yeah. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. You have to say that your work is fun and easy. You have to say that game development is simple and joyous. You love it 100% of the time. Sure, making games is easy. You have to open the door. Just like all of the answers I've given. I feel so awful when I said that. But it wasn't true. Now. Don't worry about it. Just keep talking. Just keep saying that creation is easy. When I make games, I feel completely energized. I'm constantly excited and enthusiastic about my work. It is easy. It never stops being easy. Yes, that's wonderful. Keep going. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really Every time I make something, I feel better about myself. I watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. Just never stop creating, I'll never feel bad. It's just a simple solution. 
Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. This oh, is someone I really cared about. Perfect. That feels fantastic. So much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. Patience, you have to trust me. Promise the Lord. Please continue. Um, it always pays off eventually. Sacrifices are worth a hundred percent worth my time. Yes, more. Keep going. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. No shame, no fear, no guilt. I will be saved by work. I believe this unquestionably. I'm at best. I had never felt so rotten. The prison. I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. But it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. That one was freaking intense. These games are, are wild. The machine. Take me to the machine. The guard of the machine. I'm glad to see you've arrived safely. We've captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation whenever you want. I intend to be quick. Very good. But we warned. Someone called the press. We might have a bit of attention on this one. Also, one more thing that you should know about the machine. It calls itself Coda. Press. The machine. The machine is Coda. You are the machine. You stopped. It's the machine. But it's dead. You stop feeding us. Your work is keeping us alive. Your work is keeping us healthy. You stop feeding us. Those people out there, can you imagine what pain you put them in? It's only because of your creations. Or because of your creations that any of us can make it through every day. I'm going to go back to trusting you to do this job. So here's what needs to happen. You need to get the people out there and apologize to them. You have to admit the people that you'll be allowed to suffer. It's been so long. Apologize for leaving me. I mean, the room of ideas. I, I think about it. No, nothing. Think carefully. I know how to hurt you. I've seen the things you fear. Which is like an ominous thing to say. Alright then, I will apologize to people on your behalf. Let's go see the press. Oh. Oh no, I thought we were back at the hotel. My followers, my friends. I fail. It fails. Or it falls on me to deliver bad news. I have a troubling revelation. The machine will not apologize to us. She will not admit that it has deliberately hurt us. This is not important. We are stronger than it thinks we are. We will find a way to live without it. We do not need its games. Oh, I clicked the wrong button, but that's fine. Uh, it pays its retribution and show that we are not failures. Follow me. We will destroy the machine. We will destroy the machine and everything. No, no, definitely not everything it created. The machine has created some very beautiful things. I still think the house in the white game was like really beautiful and I'm not really sure why the gun oh there's a there's a backstage oh but the backstage is also destructible and behind it is nothing So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people. 
to get some actual feedback on his games. It might get him out of isolation. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback, so what if I did it for him? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? It is interesting. He creates these things and he almost talks. I mean, he talks to himself at the end of the day. The idea room. This is what I don't get. Why do you hate the idea room? I guess the idea of like hating everything you've created, being embarrassed or or shamed by it in some ways. I always think of Tyler, the creator. Oh. So I started showing Coda's work to people. Really? This one and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape game. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all is just to give them some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. That is very interesting. Like, the machine is dead in his eyes, and he's creating, like, still interesting experiences in the vein of, of his first works. Put down your weapons. <laughs> I have I, I have no I Can press see why I felt like this was the right thing to do because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good that I am good when when someone really connects with a thing that I've made when they see themselves purely in my work there's nothing that feels better and I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something... I really felt like I'd done something good. Like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. I mean, Coda's games are fire. Plain and simple. Um, so anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um... And so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. Oh, man. So let's take a look. I like to think that Coda lives on making games. Maybe he just doesn't share them. Coda seems like the type of creator that just needs to create to understand their feelings. Is a very, very odd place to find yourself in. Anything meaningful about Coda's work, because more than anything else, the tower Holy. just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. I don't think it does. I think it's the way that you walk into like a temple, feel connected with the person who felt so driven to create it. This room actually has a maze in it. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. Yeah, I'm going to stop that. The is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Oh, whoops. There we go. Coda, I mean, like, uh, obviously playing it where we can keep moving, but that would just be impossible. 
I mean, I guess Code is not intending to share it. This is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. That's like yeah. the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. Hmm. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six digit code. Like the invisible <laughs> maze, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me except just impossible puzzles. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Okay, 151. I don't wish I didn't mash the button, so that's fine. 15. Oh, I misclicked. Oh, this is so tragic. I misclicked again. Okay, focus up, Copeland. The hardest mechanical input I've needed in this entire gameplay through. Wait, one. Wait, I'm actually, like, losing my gourd. Holy smokes. I do think some of these source games have made me weirdly dizzy, and I'm not really sure why. Or I'm just dizzy today. Who knows? I mean, he animated in these six stairs? It's like he wanted this game to be played. I'm just never... Again, it's the way of Coda sort of making something not to be seen. So weird. But... What does the creator do it? He shows it to people. But Coda shows it to him. Literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me. The idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it. That's the end of the conversation. Not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem but I can open this door for you so let me do that I mean Coda couldn't fix the machine at least never I felt like it for not understanding this game I, mean, I don't know why I would be it's not like everything needs to have a solution but I feel it somehow I feel like I failed and I don't understand why because you showed it I remember it's Coda makes things that are never meant to be seen playing this for the very first time and as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew. It wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. <laughs> and he wouldn't. First time we've seen like any color. I, I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Where did I screw up? Dear Davy, thank you for your interest in my games. I need you the reason to ask to not speak to me anymore. It's because of what I did. Yeah. I poisoned it for you. I don't think I, I wonder at these this, times whether you think I'm making these games for you. Showing it to people. It actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. You've inflicted my or infected my and personal space. That's not possible. I did not begin to plant solutions in my work somewhere between important. in between games. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. 
Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. Would you stop changing my games, adding lampposts to them? Also, just like violating my personal boundary that keeps me safe. I mean, yeah. It's, it's how I was interpreting it kind of this whole time. It's like, it, it, this, this is... This is his world. This is all he... You know, when you create something, it's very, very vulnerable. And... I don't know. It's not up, not up to Davey at the end of the day. But then why does Davey make this game? And then you stopped. And I didn't have Did you simply let them be what they are? I, I just had to be with myself. When I'm around you, I feel happened? physically ill. There was no fear. You desperately need something, and I cannot give it to you. Less I literally do not have it. What does that mean? Struggling to come up with new ideas is not part of making me depressed. Low points are just part of the process. In fact, do you think I am frustrated or broken? It says more about you than it says about me. I realize that doesn't make sense to you just yet. Which is fine. You're my problem to solve. But I do hope that one day it clicks. That you will make peace with this thing that you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. When you finally see what I'm talking about, don't say anything. The dang door. Baby. There's, there's... That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work. Is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. It's not black and in this room either. So a part of me has it's not the darkness. If I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply... Will you start making games again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to, how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading, and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Hmm. Games like as much as about the narrator, epilogue. But epilogue isn't a game. We're in, we have a bigger lamp post. Lamp post clock combo. I mean, personally, it reminds me of one of my favorite artists, Pat the Bunny. More, 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 more. more what? Love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. Solution, solution, solution. I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Maybe he just likes making prisons.
weird how the game was like narrated with like almost like he treats it as if he's telling us for the first time like the way he he betrayed his Even friend now, the disease is telling me to stop don't show people what a shitty person you are they'll hate you The darkness, it's back. It's completely dark. Now we're in a cave. Oddly beautiful. If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. Hmm. Huh. I mean, I kind of think I make, I make my videos with that in mind, but I... But these are as much for me. Like this video in particular, I want to remember what it feels like to play this game for the rest of my life for the first time. And I have it here in this video. You know, I'll have it on YouTube forever. For whoever else wants to see it, I guess, too. But I think I need to go. This is also and as much for me. I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot that I need to make up for, and so I'm just gonna... Okay. Whose game is this? Because this doesn't seem like, uh... This doesn't, like... Again, he said it was the last game he had made. And now we're having playing another game. Or we just walk. I guess now I could talk about the story I meant to say. So one of my favorite artists of all time. This guy named Pat the Bunny. Made a whole bunch of music. And and had, had lived a, a pretty wild life. You know, dealt with a lot of addiction, substance abuse. All sorts of problems. While just creating music all over the place. And he stepped away from music. And feels a very like odd connection to his music doesn't really want people to listen to it but it also means so much to people like me i mean he's literally my second favorite artist of all time i've always and just yeah has made some some really incredible works um throughout his whole career now like has no presence online it really doesn't even want to claim the music and his life's changed so much he's like it's and i'm not that guy and I think he does feel kind of weirdly ashamed about the music that he made, even though it did so much for so many people. Or at least he did when he stepped away, and he he's never returned or never really felt like commenting. His his brother has said some small things, and he showed up at a couple of his friends' shows. As far as like, what's really happened? His brother said something on Reddit. I believe it is actually his brother. Um. And they said, you know, he's just he's happy. He's doing good, but. I don't know. I always, I like, would love for him to come back, but obviously, I understand. That's that's not my role. That's not my place in the world. And like, even me googling him just to try to find any shred of place he's shown up on the internet, just it, yeah, doesn't like, it doesn't add to what he wants. A, back to the place that started. They uh, started everything. The ladder. Yeah, that's what I believed would happen. Are we going to be in space? No, sir. We're in the left. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Davey sure did like mazes. That's something... Something I've absolutely felt throughout this game. He just there's something about being stuck in a maze or subjecting someone to a maze.
It also makes me think of, you know, the Stanley Parable, which in a lot of ways was also a maze. Big, big, I mean, it's Source. What is Source good at? A skybox and some, some hallways? Funny physics? Is that the end, end of our story? 4R This project would not have been possible without the falling individuals. I believe we have reached the end. What a what a tale. Turn back. I believe that's the song we're listening to. Hey. One I don't know if that story is true. Something in the back of my mind tells me I like heard about this game one time. And I believe the story is not fully true. Um, but you know, obviously the artist makes art inspired by their lives, I think. So it, there's probably shreds of tooth truth to this game as well. But I don't think he had some library of old games. Who knows though? And that's it where we reach the end of the beginner's guide at least as much as i can understand if you enjoyed the video drop a like um if you're a fan of beginner's guide and you have theories and you're like um you're so wrong about everything in this game but i mean i will say i kind of saw the ending coming where i'm like these games are not meant to be seen it always felt like that from like literally what like the third game i was like what what did these games have in common they're not meant to be seen and then they were being seen I didn't really get the irony of that um, while while I was literally seeing them, but a very interesting piece as well as just a lot of other things that I thought were very moving about the story. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, subscribing. I, I play other games. I'm never going to play this one again, probably. I don't know why I would, but maybe if there's some secrets or something, you guys... Uh, or if the game has like 20 minutes of more gameplay and I completely missed it, let me know. With that, take care. Bye-bye.